Hey folks, I'm going to cut a, a quick little video here. Quick. Yeah, right. I'm going to cut a quick little video here because I got a book in the mail from Amazon. An Amazon book. And Amazon book unboxings are always a bit of an adventure for me. You never know what's going to be inside. So stay tuned for that. The kids tell me to say like and subscribe. So please do the kid a favor. Like and subscribe. Every time you like one of my videos, a puppy wags his tail, a kitten purrs, an angel gets his wings, Michael Myers does Michael Myers things, Freddy Krueger does what he do, all kinds of cool things happen. Uh, but if you don't know, you're finna know, fixing to know, I'm a big fan of F. Paul Wilson. And F. Paul Wilson, an author, his most popular and well-known creation is a character by the name of Repairman Jack. The Repairman Jack story starts with a book called The Tomb, and then years later, over a decade later, there was a sequel novel written to The Tomb. Kind of, not really a sequel, but another Repairman Jack novel was written called Legacies, and that was also intended to be kind of a standalone thing. But all, pretty quickly after Legacies, not far after that, F. Paul Wilson decided, was talked into however it worked, to make a series. And then he went with conspiracies and on down the line. Uh, many, many Repairman Jack novels, but mixed in there, especially in those early, that early block between the tomb and legacies, there was some really badass Repairman Jack short stories. My favorite of which would be called, stay tuned. My favorite of which would be called A Day in the Life. And every time I read that, it makes me happy. It, anyway, The Day in the Life is my very favorite. But there's a lot of them that are great. And actually, a lot of them were also incorporated later into the novel. So a lot of authors will do that. They'll write a short story, and then it's somewhere down the line, they'll work that short story into a novel that they're writing, or they'll expand it into a novel. And F. Paul Wilson, with a lot of these Repairman Jack stories, he would fit them in. Because a lot of the stories would be what you call a fix-it. Um, somebody's got a problem. They can't go to the, the government. They can't go to their family. They can't go to the police because of one reason or another. And Repairman Jack lives in that those in-betweens. That's where he, how he makes his living is on those in-betweens. So doing jobs for money for people who have no other choice and nowhere else to go. And he's very select and particular about the types of jobs he does. Um, but as you can tell, since he's got 20 books or something like that, things don't always go as planned. Now, all, at one point, a few years ago, all of those stories were collected here. All of those short stories of Repairman Jack were collected here in this trade soft cover book called Quick Fixes. And that was the only way to get this book right here. Well, not that long ago, F. Paul Wilson sent out an email or posted something, whatever. He told the people, this book will finally be available in hardcover. So immediately, without any further ado, I went on to the Amazon link. I think he even had an Amazon link in his whatever he sent out. But anyway, I went to Amazon, ordered the hardcover book because hardcovers are better than soft covers, right? I ordered the hardcover book from Amazon and here it comes. This book comes in a box. So at a distance, man, that looks good, great. But here's one of the things that worries me so much about Amazon. There's who knows how many people handling this book and they're taking it and they're throwing it and they're stacking it and they're knocking it off and they're kicking it and stepping on it and spitting it, spitting on it. And no, anyway, the books get handled. They get moved around, tossed around. People are working. Working folks don't have time to delicately handle this stuff so that it doesn't move. And that's what worries me because inside here's a book, man, that I like to keep that book in nice shape. So let's open it up and let's see. Keep your hands out of the line of fire because there's a lunatic on the other end of this blade. Let's see what it looks like. 
I'm a little bit worried. I'm not making myself sick because this weren't no $800 book, but this is still a book that I like to have nice and neat. And I got a nine year old son that loves these things. So in a minute, I'm gonna take these into the room and hand it to him and he's gonna say, thanks dad. And then I'm gonna hear pow, 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 pow. He stops what he's doing to pop these things. He takes after his old man. All right, so here's our book, our hardcover book. And it is uh, library bound. It looks very much like the trade soft cover that I showed you a minute ago. And here's what worries me about Amazon shipping is when you got stuff flopping around in a box, it's not protected, you get some dings. And sometimes those dings are intolerable. This time it's not too bad. And again, quite frankly, I don't remember what I paid for this book, but I think it's something I can live with. So quick fixes, it's a collection of uh, short stories from F. Paul Wilson of Repairman Jack. And if you want to pause, you can read all about it here. Read all about it. Um, Repairman Jack doesn't repair lamps. He doesn't repair dishwashers. He solves problems. Uh, let's take a look inside here and see if there's anything of note. I will, uh, I will show you the table of contents. Um, this is a work of fiction, all the characters, dot, dot, dot. First hardcover edition published 2021. First paperback edition 2011. So I said a few years. It was more than 10 years ago. I didn't realize it was that long ago. I've had it a long time. I just, time flies when you're having fun, when you're collecting stuff and reading stuff and doing the thing. But here's our table of contents. Can you see that? So there's the, the table of contents. What I want to do real quick is I'll go through some of these stories. You have the forward and the forward. The talk doesn't say who it is by. The forward is very short. And uh, I guess this forward would be by F. Paul Wilson. It doesn't say who it's from, so it must be from him. And then it goes into Repairman Jack. And Repairman Jack is a neat, a neat way to introduce somebody who might pick this book up off the shelf and say, what the heck does Repairman Jack do? It kind of goes into it, gives you his, his bio, tells you all the stuff that people in the book don't know. Um, so that's forward, who is Repairman Jack? The very first short story of Repairman Jack, I believe was his first one, and it's the first one here, was A Day in the Life, and I love that story. If you're ever gonna read anything about Repairman Jack, that's gotta be one of them. You gotta read The Tomb. The Tomb is one of my favorite books that was ever written. I, I want to say a close second. My favorite book is way older than that. But I'd say it's a close second. And uh, yeah, I can't think of anything else that I would put ahead of it. I love Repairman Jack and I love the tomb. Uh, the next story was The Last Rakosh. And The Last Rakosh was included, not only included in a book called All the Rage, but it was, um, it was expanded into a novella called The Last Rakosh, I think. I'm looking for it right now. It was expanded into a novella called The, novella called the Last Rakosh, and there's a signed and limited version of that from Overlook Connection, long, long ago sold out. All the Repairman Jack's books, except for the first one and the last one, which is uh, Night World, they're available from Gauntlet Press in signed and limited edition. Again, most of them are sold out, if not all of them, but they published signed and limited editions, as well as trade hardcovers from Tor Forge, Tor or Forge or Tor Forge, I don't know. Anyway, look it up. Uh, I'm not an encyclopedia. Although I try to be, pretend like I'm one. Uh, the next one, Home Repairs, that one was also included in one of the novels. The Long Way Home, like I said, most of these, I think most of these have been included in novels, but read the short stories, especially the early ones. Um, an author, any author, over time, their tone and their style will change somewhat. And you can recognize writing from different eras in an author's career. And F. Paul Wilson in the 80s, especially writing Repairman Jack in the 80s, had a true tone and a true feeling. And I got a kid telling me he's getting his very first snack. Here it is, almost five o'clock, and he's getting his very first snack. For things you wanted to know. I got my first snack. Okay, buddy. It was, I'm, I'm sure it's my first. Okay, love you. 
He sure is his first snack. Um, Interlude at Dwayne's. That's a newer one. But I say they're all new. But the, anyway, Interlude at Dwayne's is a newer one. Do-Gooder, Recalled, Piney Power, Infernal Night. Then you have a publishing history, The Secret History of the World, and a bibliography. So The Secret History of the World is essentially The Secret History of the World. But a lot of uh, F. Paul Wilson's books are tied in to this larger theme, this larger thing that's that's bigger than bigger than gods and devils and things like that, and it, it's more about these uh, unknowable, unimaginable entities that fight each other over existence, like a board game, and every planet, every sentient planet that has. Uh, what does sentient mean? Every sentient planet has value and they want to have them all. The winner is the one that has them all. And Earth is one of the pieces, not necessarily the key piece, but a piece in that puzzle. So from time to time, they have battles going on on Earth and they take place in all sorts of forms with all sorts of characters across the F. Paul Wilson mythos, whatever that means, I don't know that they would call the secret history of the world. Also, uh, some of those books create what's called the adversary cycle. That's a lot of talking about one book that I got from Amazon. But um, I'm excited to have this one in a hardcover edition because Repairman Jack's one of my favorite characters. F.P. Dub is one of my favorite authors. And this book, for 12, 11 years now, has been only available in paperback. And it's nice to have it in a hardcover. And F. Paul Wilson... Should I ever run into you again, I'm going to ask you to sign me one of these. Thank you very much. Say la vie, baby. Adios, amigos.